Good morning, world. So Cedric's not able to be with us today, so you're stuck with me, Brian, but I have a great guest today, and we're going to get to that soon. So stay tuned. I'm Brian, and this is Cedric and Brian. <laughs> Before you tune away, I know everybody loves to see Cedric, but trust me, stay tuned. You're gonna really like the guest I have today. Before that, are you prepared? Like Brian says, are you prepared? Do you have enough food, water, and other essentials to get you through tough times? If not, check out My Patriot Supply. They're the nation's number one preparedness company, and they've served millions of American families just like yours. Right now, you can save 25% off their popular four-week emergency food kit, which will keep you well-fed for four weeks worth of breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks, and snacks, totaling over 2,000 calories a day. This food stays fresh for up to 25 years in proper storage, so it will be there when you need it. In fact, you may need it a lot sooner than that. So don't wait. Go to www.preparewithcedricandbrian.com. That's www.preparewithcedricandbrian.com. Okay, we have a serious topic today. So, I don't know if you've seen in the news, but the Top Cats, which are the cheerleaders for the Carolina Panthers, they have the first transgender cheerleader on their squad. And they are, again, like I said, they're called the Top Cats. So today, we have Brianna Johnson. Brianna, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Brian. Thanks for having me on. I thought this was important because should they allow a transgender person to take the spot of an actual female on the Top Cats, which is the cheerleading squad for the Carolina Panthers, but the next in line wasn't a female, so we're putting that to rest. The next in line was Brianna Johnson, and Brianna, tell me, go th tell me about what happened and why you think you were passed over for Justine Lindsay. Justine Lindsay. It could have been easily Brianna Johnson. So, Brianna, tell us why you think you were passed over. Well, thank you for having me on, Brian. Uh, first of all, my friends refer to me as BJ. When I got the word that they were holding tryouts, I thought this would be an incredible, incredible opportunity for me to show what I could do. And the Carolina Panthers said they needed a cheerleader to, to fill the role. So I said, Brianna, why not? I danced all during middle school, I danced during high school, and I thought I would be a shoe-in. But there was one thing, and one thing only, that kept them from choosing me. I refused to trim m m my facial hair. It's not a lot. Now, I don't think that should be something that they should base it on. Did, could you cheerlead? That's the thing. Did you, do you have cheerleading experience? Brian, I have been a base. I have had, uh, I, I've been a, I've done, been involved in stunt. I've been involved in cheer. I've been involved in dance. My resume is impeccable. Excuse me one second. I understand that. Now, do you think there was any ageism in it? Because you do look a little older. I think that Justine is in her 20s. Uh, are you in your 20s? There was no prerequisite for age. As I said before, let's start basing things on ability. I am so sick and tired of sexism and ageism taking the front row and determining if a person can do the job. If our vice president can be chosen based on the fact that she is a black female, was her age taken into well, consideration? I, I, have to, I have to stop you there. Now, Justine, Justine Lindsay, who is the actual top cat now, is a black transgender woman. So, I know she's younger than you, so you, you can't go and say that it's because of your gender. Now, age, if you wanna, if you wanna tell the people on here that it's because of ageism, I can understand that, and I will hear your argument when, with that. Do you think that you had the same ability as Justine? Well, look at, let's look at a picture of Justine here. Now, Tramp. Don't get mad at me, I'm gonna get into the transgender thing. Now, Justine Lindsay is a transgender female. Biologically, she's a man. You, are you willing to admit this? Are you a biological man who's transitioned into a woman, correct? Yes. Um, I am going through the transitioning process. Of, I have taken uh, 
several doses of Luprin um, to uh, suppress my testosterone. There was no difference between me and Justine Lindsay, because as you alluded to earlier, I have all the dancing skills, if not more, than she had. And you talk about ageism, Brian. Yes, I am older, but as you see old, being old as a, as a deterrent, I simply see it as having more experience. Yes, okay, I was gonna just say that. I was gonna allude to that. So you have more experience than Justine. Did you get to see her perform before you performed for the tryouts? Yes, it's, it's, an, it's an open forum. And all the contestants would go onto the field and they would pick a song of their choice. Uh, my song was the uh, uh, song by a uh, uh, genuine entitled Pony. But all the girls would go out and they would have 45 seconds to a minute to perform their routine. Brian, I can do the eagle where I jump up and hold my arms in a T formation and touch my toes to my hands. I can do the splits. I can do handstands. I can do a lot of things. I, I need to ask this. When you do the splits, do you have to be careful? Yes. I, I do have to be a little careful. I, do, I, need, I need a little bit more warm-up time than some of the other uh, no, 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 contestants. No, no, no. I don't mean for warm-up. I mean, I've seen the splits, and they go down pretty hard on the ground. Do you have to be careful when you go down into the splits that's what i'm asking is it is that an okay question to ask brian you can't be this simple-minded i can do everything just as well if not better than justine Lindsay. what about the person after you two was there a, an actual female that could have got the spot on the top cats as a cheerleader for the carolina panthers or was it just down to you too brian d during the interview session when i talked to the the head cheer coach, and she asked me my qualifications, and while it would be an excellent choice for this, I said, you can't go wrong with someone like me. I'm stronger. I'm more immune to disease. I will not get pregnant and call. Can, do you know how many of these dancers come to the head coach and say, oh, I've gotten pregnant. I can't finish the season. That is not going to be a problem. Excuse me. So I don't get to periods, I don't get pregnant, I'm stronger, I'm, I'm more, more agile, and I just, I'm, I'm emotional now, yes, because I feel I've been treated unfairly, but you don't have the same drama with me as you do with some of the other contestants. What would you say, since I, I don't have Justine in here to talk to, what would you say, and I'm just playing the devil's advocate here, for those who say... The transgender females are taking the spots of actual females who have trained to be cheerleaders oh, and hope to one day be... Hold on one second, Brian. Hold on. It's Leah Thomas. Yes, Leah. It's, 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 it's a damn shame. You keep doing you. I am supporting you, girl. Yes. And when I get this job on the dance team i'm getting you front row seat to the what team is this again i don't want carolina like, panthers the carolina panthers as long as you get me front row seats to the next swim meet i'll talk to you later bye bye yes well brianna i think there might be a problem you don't even know the team you were trying out for and it's important you're supposed to actually be cheering on the football team people go there to watch football and then during the commercial breaks, when you're at the live events, they get to see the cheerleaders. Brian, perform. I do not need you to mansplain things to me. I know everything there is to know about football. But you asked me what team when you were talking to Lee. I know what it's like to throw a home run. You don't need to explain that to me. I'm not an idiot. I just want an opportunity to dance, whether it's for a football team, a, a, a basketball team, a WNBA. Well, Actually, that might be my next opportunity. I might try out for a, a WNBA team because I hear there's a lot of uh, people out there like me. Um, so uh, you're going to be a cheerleader for the WNBA? No, I'm going to play. Oh. My goodness. Have you seen those girls? Oh, okay. My goodness. Uh, hockey, but let's not forget that I'm still black and we don't do cold. So I don't know if I could do hockey. But I don't need to know everything there is to know about the sport in order to cheer for it. Yeah, but... If you're trying out for a team, and again, you're a supplemental part of that team. People do not go there 
to watch. I'm sorry, but they don't go there to games to watch the cheerleaders. The cheerleaders, <gasps> the cheerleaders are just there to entertain people in between commercial breaks. I will not be objectified because I look the way I do. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. I am going out there showcasing the same skills and ability that every single one of those other heifers have out there. Let's, Do let's, not let's, objectify let's not me. Let's not be derogatory. Let's not be derogatory. We want to keep things up. I think well, you I'm, better get together. We're going to cut this interview short. I think we know why they might have picked Justine and Lindsay over you because it seems like you have a little chip on your shoulder. I have been in the gym. They're a little broad, yes. No, I mean a chip. It's a saying like like you you. There's something going on psychologically that might be affecting you that might be more than you just not getting the job because of your beard. I don't want to be confrontational, but they didn't pick you and you feel it is just because of the beard and not because of maybe an attitude you had going into it. Okay. You are a little older. You you don't look like this beautiful young person here. Again, I. As a season ticket holder, when the commercials come on, the only thing we have to do if we don't want to go get our nachos is we watch the cheerleaders down on the field. We want somebody attractive. We want somebody that can perform and I dance. am attractive, and I played a I'm little not, bit of football in high school. I'm not saying you're not attractive. Did you know I played football in high school? I did not know that. So you have football experience. So you think that should have helped elevate you to the point of where they should have picked you over Justine Lindsay? Absolutely. Tell me what football experience did Justine Lindsay have? We were talking before the tryout started, and she said she went to one football game, and she was appalled because she thought all the players on the team made a mistake, and the coach pulled them all off the field because he was upset with them. I said, no, you simpleton. They're changing from offense to defense. They didn't take all 12 players off the team and put another 12 on because it, he was upset with them. It's 11. 12, 11, whatever it is. Don't get involved in semantics of numbers. Okay. All right. So I don't think we're going to solve any issues here. What do you think? Do you think that Brianna, I'm sorry, BJ, should have been picked over Justine Lindsay or... Do you think that it should have gone to a biological female? Or do you think that maybe this whole thing was a ploy and a publicity stunt so that the Carolina Panthers could be the first team to have a transgender person on their cheerleading squad? Um, what do you think about that? Do you, do you really think that they picked between you and Justine solely on the fact of your merits and the fact that you have cheerleading experience or do you think there was a political reason because transgenderism seems to be kind of it in the news right now yes brian i know it is in the news but i am not some some token uh, person to be used to uh, elicit uh, uh, the media coverage i have skills i have abilities that supersede any cheerleader or stunt person out there. I went out there to be respected with my merit and my abilities. And I will not be judged and used as some, some token for, for, for a, a, a publicity stunt. All I want is a chance. The main reason I came on the Cedric and Brian show was because I wanted to appeal because of their wide, expansive audience that expands the globe. You guys, you guys are doing quite well, by the way. It expands the globe, and if you haven't subscribed to them, shame on you! I came on this show because I wanted to plead my case to you good people. If you think that I should be chosen, as opposed to that, that, that skinny uh, uh, heifer uh, Justine Lindsay, Please let uh, Brian, what did you call it, the comments section? You said skinny heifer. Doesn't that seem... It's an oxymoron, I know. Don't get caught up in all that skinny heifer. Okay. Please leave it in what they call the comments section. Do you think that I, BJ, should have been on the team more than that Justine Lindsay individual? Or if I can interject. It's or your show, I guess so. If you think that an actual female should be the cheerleader on the squad. 
or even a male as a male being on the squad. And I'm not saying I have a problem with a transgender female on the side. I'm just wondering if number one, you think you should have been picked over the other transgender female or two, you just have a female playing a female. That, that's all. That's my only point. I don't know how they do this on a con consistent basis. I'm still getting used to it. <sighs> what was your question? You know what? I think we're going to sign out. And if you guys can please comment. And I'm hoping that Cedric can come back next time. I'm a little uncomfortable. Um, He's please, a sexy bit of chocolate, isn't he? If you would please like subscribe ring that bell and share this video with everyone you know and comment please comment if you think that brianna johnson had made valid BJ. points if bj has made valid points on why she should have been picked as a top cat and a the first transgender uh cheerleader in nfl history so please do that and in the meantime be good to each other and we'll see you later. It's raining men. Hallelujah. It's raining men. Amen. My resume is impeccable. <laughs> <laughs> you started to laugh first. I know. I gotta stop looking at you. Oh, God. Let's do that again. All right. Okay. <laughs> Just, just come back. No, you can come back from after that before we start again.